live chat. Let's see. Okay. I think that is good. How do I get to any messages? Um, honestly, I don't know. So we'll find out. I read them. If you see them, sh you should see them show up. And we'll go live over here. Boom. We are live over here. All right. Awesome. We'll give it a minute. Chilling in the desert. Hello. Hey, Jaden. So you can see the comments, said. Eh? Um, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Hello. It says hello again. All right. Welcome to my house. Let's see. Let's wait. One more minute. Two o'clock. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, I have got YouTube going on one side and Instagram going over here. We are just going to do the unboxing and then we'll take some questions, see what's going on. I've got this box and a few more over here. We're going to start off with uh, Gamo. Vol volume is a little low. That's volume it. is a little low? Yeah, that's what it says. Um, I don't know how to change that. The, no, the comment said it. You just got to turn up the volume on your side. Oh. Hi, I'm Ireland. <laughs> All right. Now, when, uh, when I ask you to tell me what the comments are, I'll have you tell them to me. Okay, how do you, I turn it off? You can't, it's the microphones on there, so just don't touch it. Okay. We'll, we'll let it just go. You just have to turn it up on your side because my microphones are just whatever mics I've got in this Reading setting right now. Netherlands. All right, hello everyone. I've got my daughter helping me out. She's gonna read some comments on the YouTube side on the Instagram side, I'll have to come up and get you guys. Um, so let's unbox, see what's going on. I'm excited for this because we've got four big, beautiful boxes to get going. So I'm gonna look back and forth a little bit because I've got two live streams going at the same time. Without further ado, let's see what we got here. This is from Gamo or Daisy. Daisy is the, uh, the actual company that owns Gamo. And I am excited about this because I've got some fresh stuff. Now, uh, if you read them over there, that'll show up on the microphone. So you gotta stay quiet, okay? Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. If I can get it out. Boy, that is packed in tight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, I've never heard that sound from a box before. The Gamo Swarm Bone Collector. Let me just throw it all over the place. Ooh! <laughs> I'm excited about this. Um, this is an extension of the Swarm series, which you guys have seen me do about a bajillion videos on. It's super fun. Um, I really enjoy it. And I am super stoked about a wood stock. So let's pull this out of here. And see what's going on. This is patterned after the Swarm Maxim. Swarm Maxim was the very first air rifle from Gamma. Well, actually, no, that's not true. It's the very first Swarm air rifle from Gamma that I had. I was hunting with a Gamma uh, Raptor Whisper, actually, before that, and that thing was accurate and awesome. And then I went up to the Mag Maxim because my wife's grandpa had one, and I tried it at his farm. And I was so impressed by it. So then I ordered one for myself, and that's kind of where it really picked up for me with Gamo because I just loved it. It was awesome. All right. Holy cow, that's beautiful. Okay, I'll show you guys. Don't worry. Oh, let's open this up. This is my CRKT knife, which you can pick up from CRKT.com, or you can pick it up from Amazon. What's going on? A comment said your camera's low. Like it said. Oh, you can't see my you, face. Uh, you are out of focus. I'm out of focus. Yeah, it says you're out of focus. All right, let's uh, let's try to fix that then. Let's pull this out. Bear with, guys. Wow, that's pretty. Cool. Okay, 
Let's check the camera. See what's going on. Out of focus, eh? Mm hmm Okay. That's about as in focus as I think it's gonna get, guys, so bear with me here. All right, where are you seeing the comments? They pop up on the side? Um, they pop up like right here. Perfect, okay, good. All right, yep, that's as in focus as I think we're gonna get. So let's try that. The fun of doing live stuff. It's funny, when I was at SHOT Show um, over a year ago, I was watching Rossi Morreale. I, Morreale, yeah, um, do a live. And they were just having all sorts of fun technological stuff with that and ended up being a series of really cool videos, which was actually a lot of fun to watch anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's the fun of live. So let's get back to this. Look at that. Boom. That is one beautiful wood stock. The Maxim is a beast. We get a little bit of uh, just white stuff here comes right off. The Maxim sound suppression, you can see right here, if you can see that over here. Um, it is good. You can tell that it's, it's open on both sides, which allows for a lot of the noise to come out of the sides instead of necessarily forward or backwards, but it's pretty good sound suppression. It's not as good as the Fusion, but it's close. It goes Whisper Maxim Fusion in terms of sound suppression on American uh, gamma rifles. I know in some other countries it's a little different. Some they don't allow you to have suppressors, or sound suppression rather. Uh, some they do, so it just depends, but this thing is beautiful. I like the cheek rise right here because, oh man, that, that's perfect. I'm, I'm excited to get this out. Comes with a 3x9x40 scope. These are the standard Gamo scopes that come with all of their rifles. Um, it works fine for hunting purposes that you're going to do with a brake barrel, and that's maybe out to 50 yards. I've hunted with uh, the Maxim probably around that much, 40 to 50 yards, and it's effective, especially if you're using a good pellet. So one of my viewers who's probably watching, uh, G-Man Neode, he sent me a stack of gamo pellets that he found on Amazon, and I really appreciated that. That's on another one of my videos, but I'm gonna get those out and try it with this and see which gamo pellet works best with this. But guys, honestly, this wood stock should have been like the first thing that ever came out, I think, because it's just beautiful. But I understand it's it's branded specific bone collector series. I really like the grips on it. I just like the feel of it. It feels really good, like really good. It's got your standard safety, standard trigger. I'm not going to uh, cock this and dry fire it. Now, all you folks that have screamed and screamed and screamed in the past, and I have probably none of them are watching this actually, about not dry firing a Gamo. Gamo engineered the dry fire problem out of their brake barrels a long time ago, and I'll tell you why. Because it's annoying, one. Two, you would never be able to have a multi-shot system without being able to take a dry fire, because everybody is going to get to that last shot, cock it again, not be paying attention. If they've already gone through their 10 shots from the magazine that comes with, which is right here, there we have it, and they're gonna dry fire. Happens to me all the time, I have not once had a rifle get screwed up because of it. Not once, not ever. I've never lost velocity, I've never had any issues. So, if you accidentally dry fire a Gamo brake barrel, it's not gonna kill you. Just, just putting that out there, okay? So there you go. The nice thing about the magazine as well is that you can't double feed anymore. It's got some pretty neat technology in it. There's this little switch right here on the side that prevents double feeds. It will not allow the magazine to move forward until the recoil of the shot actually lets it move forward. And that's, that's really awesome. That's really good engineering. So that's beautiful. Now, I've got another package from Gamo Daisy. Right here. Let's open that up. 
see what we got going on here. Da -da -da. Da -da. All right, what comments do we have over there? I'm not seeing any quite yet. Okay, cool. What about over here? We've got... How are you doing, Dolly Sportsman? I am doing well. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have to scroll back and look at the other comments in just a moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's a comment. What's it say? It has the March 1 piston now. Piston. Or the Mach 1 piston. March there you go. 1. March 1? Uh-huh. Mach 1, yes. Um, that is, actually, that technology has been out for a little while now. Um, the Mach 1 piston technology is what drives the actual air rifle on the inside. It's not a spring. It's an air system, it's a piston, essentially. So you load it, you let it go, and it's awesome. It works out really well. I like it a lot. And I, I own now six Gamo Air Rifles, and it's fantastic. Just, mm, mm, love it. Okay, this is a BSA scope. Now this specifically is designed so that it can handle the recoil of these brake barrel rifles. So I am excited to get this out. It's got more adjustability than what comes in the box. So the three by nine works fine, right? I think I've used these to hunt, I can't even remember how many times now. And it works. Um, once you get past seven zoom though, it gets blurry. And that's because of the parallax settings from the factory, which you cannot adjust in these. Um, the parallax is set to around 30 yards, 25 or 30 yards. And because of that, when you go to maximum zoom, it just gets blurry after about, you know, seven and up. So I'm going to try out the BSA scope on this, which I really appreciate the fact that it also has a mill dot reticle. For hunting purposes, that is phenomenal. This thing works. It's a duplex reticle though, so it holdover is tough. And that can really mess you up when you're trying to hunt because if you sight this in at 40 yards, you will be on target 40 yards every single time. But I'm telling you, if a rabbit's sitting at 30, it becomes a guessing game. And I have missed quite a few shots and I put that on one of my videos and everyone's like, you're a terrible shot. Well, I'm, it's a duplex holdover and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing myself, even though I've sighted in that gun, done everything to it, shot it a bajillion times, and I was still missing. So having a mill dot reticle is phenomenal. Yes. Comment. Do you rem recommend a Deanna Zero recoil scope mount of power for air rifles? Absolutely. That thing is awesome. Now, that mount, um, Diana Bullseye, it the whole idea behind that is designed to prevent um, a whole lot of recoil getting into your scopes. So you don't ruin a scope that you put on these because they do have a lot of recoil going back and forward. Most scopes are designed to take recoil in one direction, not the other. And etched reticle scopes hold up very well to that because then the reticle can't like come out. A wire reticle, they can drop out because of that recoil, which is really annoying. You can put a thousand dollar scope on one of these and it'll be destroyed. If you get that mount that that comment was about, that will save your scopes. So Gamo designed this little uh, piece right up here, it's patented, it's totally designed to prevent recoil, but I don't think it's enough. So if you put that mount on top of this, then you're golden. That's a very good idea, so excellent comment. The only time that I've seen an issue with that one is one of my friends bought one and it wasn't holding zero very well because it springs, right? It springs inside that mount to take the recoil. And so what he did is he took a little bit of elastic fabric and he looped it onto that um, onto that mount and I should probably make a video showing how to do this but he looped it up on the mountain over the top and the elastic was tight on it so every time there was recoil it would just bounce back into the same spot every single time it was awesome Jason the outdoors 99 zero dollar thing what is that it was blue with a smiley face what was that I don't know just what's a comment um it just said Ninety-nine. Oh, blue with a smiley face. Zero dollars ninety-nine cents. Zero dollars ninety-nine cents. Yeah. It's it's relatively inexpensive. That uh, that particular mount, I think it's somewhere around sixty dollars. The last time I checked, but the last time I checked was a while ago. With the way that everything is right now, it might be eighty dollars by by now. So 
Yes, it's an excellent amount. Good question. Um, it it this one says it's a super. It is a super chat. It's a super chat. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, so there is that BSA scope. We are going to test that out on this rifle as well as my Swarm Magnum in 177 cal because that thing has got a crazy punch. I want to see if this will hold up to it. So there we go. Yes, comment. There, there was a comment that said someone donated to him. Oh, there's another one. LOL, I paid our camera girl. I paid our camera girl. Or you're, you are camera girl. Yeah. I mean, should I pay her? She's seven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. Okay. Thank you so much to Gamo for sending these. Um, I'm really stoked to get these out. I love shooting Gamo brake barrels. They're my favorite. So I'm super excited. Um, oh man, I can't, I don't even remember how many, Hello? how much stuff that I have hunted with these and shot at. It's just, it's been awesome. So yes, thank you. All right, now here comes the next phase. It's gonna be fun. All right. In fact, let's go to the comments here on Instagram for a second. Oh, there are two comments. Go Hello. out and get her ice cream this evening. How that long, is an excellent idea. How long before a review is posted? All right. Looks like a squirrel slayer, dude. It is. It is. Let's get it. How about she shots he, dry fire? Another one said, how long until a review is posted? Ooh, how long until a review is posted? Um, that's a good question. I just had a newborn on Saturday. So I am uh, helping around with the house. So it's probably gonna be a few weeks until I get all of these out and do full reviews just because I'm, uh, I'm taking care of business here. So there is that. Uh, pop off a few shots, I know, man. How are you doing? I am great. Um, you like those watermelons I posted on Instagram? Yes, that was so cool to watch. I enjoyed it a lot more than I probably should have. It was awesome. I was telling my wife about it actually. So Span, I don't know how to say your, your name, Span Angel, Ryan? Spanagle? You gotta forgive me for that one. Um, I was watching his videos where he was shooting massive air rifle slugs at watermelons and other fruits, and it's so fun to watch. I really enjoy those, so, uh, yes. There's a, there's, a, there's a comment. Has this gun the same power as the Swarm Function? Greetings, Bob. The Swarm Fusion, yes. Uh, it's about the same power. So the Swarm Fusion has better sound suppression. It's only a, a few decibels difference. So it's up to you whether you want to spend the money on the extra sound suppression or not, but the power is very similar. So we actually did a video on that. We compared the Maxim and the Fusion, and we put them together, and in my shoulder, there was a little bit more recoil out of the Fusion. Excuse me. So I think the power is about the same, um, based on velocity, based on what we've done with that. Uh, it was about the same, but slightly more recoil out of the Fusion, in my personal opinion. But my buddy Jaden, who I was shooting with, uh, he thought there was more recoil out of the Maxim, I think, if I remember right. So, yeah, I think you'd be just fine with the Maxim, but if you're really looking for the most sound suppression possible, then yes, go with the Fusion for sure. Um, Cameron, there's not a bone collector version of the Fusion. Daddy, Cameron nice. Marshmallow says, um, what gun are you unboxing? Let's find out, shall we? Where's my knife? There's my knife. Okay, here we go. This thing is massive. It's massive. Let's find out what we got here. Uh, keep watching, this should be fun. I'm just, you know, totally soft for it. Inside the box, we have another box. <laughs> I love these kind of boxes. It's like a mystery. It only goes on forever. <laughs> Side note, guys. My little camera lady over there, um, she has hunted with me on the channel before, and it was super fun and awesome. So she's done, um, actually, she's done both a gamo hunt and a brokaw hunt. Yeah. So I, it 
It was awesome. Remember that time when I hit the wood? Like yes, I do. Yes, I do. I will always remember. All right, let's open this um, up. Someone, someone else says drum roll. Drum roll? Okay. Yeah, drum roll. Should we do a drum roll? All right. <sighs> More tape. Holy cow. This is from Air Guns of Arizona, guys. I love Air Guns of Arizona. I will admit, though, when I walk in there, I usually don't walk out for like an hour. <laughs> One, because I'm looking at all the air guns, and two, because if Kip is there, I end up just chatting away with him about hunting stories and all sorts of crazy stuff, and it's awesome. So if you want to just like shoot the breeze and have a really good conversation, you should talk to Kip. Okay. Here we go. We have got a sports match. Um, looks like just some hex wrenches there. And then we've got this, which if you can read that, you know what I'm about to unbox. Over here. Oh, I didn't show you long enough. Too bad, so sad. Here it is. Oh, yeah. This is the Daystate Huntsman Revere in 22 cal. Mmm. Let me just snuggle this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggling a gun. Yeah. Um, this is beautiful, guys. This is... Okay. So, when I first walked into Air Guns of Arizona, the, the number one air rifle that I saw that I was like, oh, this is on my bucket list, was the Daystate Huntsman. Now, it was the Regal at the time. And then recently, Daystate came out with the Revere, and the major difference is, is the side cocking lever right here. Um, they got rid of the bolt, they put the side cocking lever. This is Huma regulated. Um, there is a version of the Regal that was not regulated, and I believe there is a version that is. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but this one is regulated. Um, man, this is just beautiful. Now, if I'm totally like, blowing smoke and there's no regulator in this, then you guys can correct me, but I'm pretty sure there is. And even if there isn't, the shots that come on this are just out of this world accurate. I mean, if you've watched Dana Webb, uh, Mountain Sport Air Guns, I love his channel. His videos are just so cool watching him hunt and actually cook what he hunts. Those are my all time favorites. So um, I love watching his channel. He did reviews of this. He took it out hunting. And it's awesome. And then Ben, uh, Shooting Gear Reviews. I've hunted with him a couple of times. I love that guy. He is like top-notch quality human being. He's got one of these. He did a review. It was just phenomenal. So I am so stoked to get this out and to be doing a review of it and seeing for myself what it can do. Um, the shots are just awesome. You can get around 40 to 50 shots out of it uh, before uh, it drops off the regulator. Go uh, ahead. Something that said, how is that, how right, stop, something. I forgot what it said. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I'll get back to your comments in just a minute. We'll go back through, we'll make sure we got everything covered on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, the Woodstock is absolutely beautiful. If you know anything about Day State, they are high-end guns. And this is, I believe, the lowest cost rifle that they make. That is not to say that it is lacking in accuracy, precision, or anything. It is just phenomenal. The power is a lot less in this compared to like a Red Wolf. Red Wolf 22, you're getting around I 60 was here. plus. Some, some things said I was here. Sorry, I must run. I have a lifeboat, a lifeboat call out. Well, well done for the camera girl. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um... So a Daystate Red Wolf gets around 60 plus, 67-ish uh, foot-pounds of force. This you're getting somewhere around 28 to 30. So there's a lot less pressure coming out of it, but it is accurate like you would not believe. And let me tell you, 28 to 30 foot-pounds is plenty for small game hunting, whatever you're going to be doing with the 22. And, spoiler alert, I am going to be taking this. I want to see how it does in competition. So here's the shtick. Here's the shtick. I want to take this out to some of the like American field target competitions, like the shirt that I'm wearing here. This was the extreme American field target. It happens every month, I believe, in Arizona. 
Um, ben runs it, not Ben Pearson, shooting your reviews, different Ben. Great guy as well. He runs these and they are super fun. I have got a couple of videos where I was shooting them. I used Lauren's uh, Day State Red Wolf with her once and it was super fun. I appreciated her letting me shoot with her. I've used my Brocock on that competition. I want to take this thing out and see what I can do. Why? Because with an MSRP around $1,400, $1,500, and then a middle of the ground scope, this is an Aztec optic scope, five by 25 by 50. It's got all of the clicks, a quarter MOA. This thing is just kind of a, a middle ground scope. I wanna take it out and I wanna see how well we can do. And the whole point is so that under $2,000, if you wanted to get into competition shooting, you could do it. And I wanna prove it to you. So that's the point behind this rifle. The uh, Brocock uh, Sniper Magnum XR that I shoot with is around fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars, and the scope that I have on that is an MTC um, Viper King or King Cobra MTC King Cobra, and that is uh, around six hundred I believe. So twenty two hundred. I wanted to get a setup that's under two thousand that I can take to the range and compete with and see how well it does because I want to inspire more people to get out there and to just have fun with these. You can do it. You do not have to spend an arm and a leg in your firstborn. My firstborn is my camera lady right now. Uh, in order to get out and compete. You don't need to do it. You can get out there, sub $2,000, and we're going to see how well we can do. So, that's what the plan is with this. I am super excited. Huntsman Revere, Air Guns of Arizona, thank you so much. They mounted this scope for me, the Aztec scope. Oh, this was for the sports match rings. That are on the scope. So we're going to see what goes on with this. Oh man, I'm so excited. Threaded barrel. Um, I have a zero dB suppressor so that I can stick on that. Uh, keep it super quiet. And guys, they are super, super quiet. If you've ever used a zero dB suppressor before on an air rifle, you know what I'm talking about. Boom! There is the beast. Oh man, I'm so excited. You, get, you don't even know. You don't even know how excited I am. All right, mm -hmm. let's see. Let's make sure that I didn't leave anything else. Oh, there's else. a, there's a, it, it is a Haston Air Rifle, 22 cal good starter's gun. 22 caliber is an excellent starter's gun. All right, one last box. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what's in this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I know, I cheated. I knew what was in these others. I don't know what's in Wait, this one. Wait, there's one. Snap, I just dropped 500 on a tuned 25, six, I forgot. I couldn't, I didn't have time to read the rest of it. That's all right, we'll get back to the comments, don't worry. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. This is the last one. Oh, that thing is packed good, man. All right. Find out what's going on up in this Izzy. Watch well, this is gonna be like an Amazon order that I forgot about. Just kidding! Just kidding. So serious. Okay. Oh, here we go. Awesome. So this is the box for the Aztec scope. The Aztec Emerald. Let's make sure we got everything that we need in here. Yes, so with the scope comes one of the uh, side focus adjustments, which is really awesome. I love these, and I have not um, competed with them. Yeah, go ahead. Are you excited to have a new little brother? Yes, I am. Yes, she is. <laughs> awesome. Um, comes with the scope covers that are flip up. I appreciate flip up scope covers. And then a sunshade, which I think every single scope manufacturer for competition should just come with the sunshade. I don't understand why they don't, but this one does, so I'm very grateful for that. Has a little key, some tools for mounting purposes, but I really appreciate the fact, guys, if you order from Air Guns of Arizona, you can have them mount your scope for you. And they can, they test all the rifles that go out, and it is awesome. I really appreciate it. I've seen them testing it. I'm sure they get sick of it, but at the same time, it seems like a super fun job. Uh Someone said, that scope is nice. It is nice. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, 
Holy like, cow, they're pellets. 24 a views. A boatload of pellets. Oh, wow. Look at this. Five tins full <laughs> of Rangemaster Sovereign Hunter. 18.13 grain, 22 caliber pellets. 250 pellets in each of these. Holy cow. That's a lot of pellets. Yes, it is. It is a boatload. Oh, Almost she's actually good at reading for so young. Bravo, Dad. Some of these words she's reading are college level. She's a masterful reader. She really is. So, yeah, she's going to be like an ultra star hunter person one day. It's just or whatever she wants to do. She does not have to hunt if she doesn't want to, but it's super fun when she comes with me. I want to go hunting again. Yes! Okay. It's these, a pressure. These are the same as JSB. We're back on? Yep, back online. Back online. Thank you. Well done. Our, okay, awesome. Sorry for all you YouTube guys. We lost connection there for a second, but we're back going. So I hope you're joining. Um, JSB pellets and the Sovereign pellets are actually made in the same place. So they're the same pellets, more or less, but I really appreciate the fact that they are good quality pellets. Um, I've hunted a lot with JSB pellets. I'm excited to take these out. They're going to be the exact same quality. I love it. Thank you so much, Air Guns of Arizona. If you're watching or not, I don't know, but I appreciate the pellets. Guys, we got a whole lot of funsies here. Yeah. So, look. We are going to be testing these over the next few weeks. Now, I will tell you, though, that there's some other fun stuff coming, too. Umarex Origin Review is still in the works. We are working on that. Um, Umarex has also sent out another really fun break barrel rifle that I have not had any experience with before, and I'm super excited to try it out. You'll have to wait and see what that is. I bet you know what it is, but you'll find out. And then we've got um, another optics company that has signed on and joined the Dollar Sportsman Club with some very good quality optics at affordable prices. So I'm excited for that as well. Chris, Chris, yes. Chris man instead of April Fools, LOL. Instead of April Fools. Yeah. Christmas instead of April. Oh, Christmas instead. Okay, I get it. Christmas instead of April Fools. Yes. Message reach. Message retracted? Yeah, um, if they want to clarify a message, sometimes they'll retract it. But this retract me? Uh, to take back. Oh. And yet she pronounced it perfectly. Hey, anyway, um, we've got some other fun stuff coming. Keep watching. It'll all be on the channel in the coming months. We have another PCP air rifle on the way as well from an up and coming company. You'll have to wait and see what that is too. I am the Dollar Sportsman. And, and I really love this. And his camera helper, Ruby! Yeah! Well then, little lady. She likes shooting too, so they'll be out dealing with this. Okay, let's go to the comments. Um, blurry focus. Blurry focus. All right, well, blurry let's focus. Deal with that. No, it says it said it on YouTube. Oh, it said it on YouTube? Uh huh. All right, we've got. Instagrammy. Here, bring that one over so I can see the comments. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. I have no idea what just happened. The the views went down. It was at 15. Now it's at 13. Okay, here we go. We've got YouTube. We've got Instagram going at the same freaking time. Okay, Instagram. Let's see what we got going on here. Indeed. How's Utah, buddy? Um, Utah is awesome. Thank you. Hold on just a second. Let me put my knife away. There we go. Um, Utah has actually been great. I have really been enjoying being here. It's been super fun. Yeah, it's actually been really fun. Um, I actually, it's e not even cold outside. Not at all. We've gotten used to it. So there's that. Yes. Um, uh, let's see, you got it the second time. Oh, the pronouncement of your name, yes. Thank you. I like the Fusion Gen X too. Me too. I really like that one a lot. Um, what's up, Ryan Rem? Oh, you're talking to, yeah. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? 
Uh, Air Guns in Michigan, hello! It's good to see you as well. Uh, the Day-State rifle is very nice. It is super nice. That was my bucket list Day-State, I'm telling you, because it's affordable and just hyper accurate and beautiful in every possible way. So there's that going on. All right, let's switch over to YouTube. YouTube. Here, if you'll hold this right there. Like this? Yes. All right, let's see what, what's going on with YouTube. I can't. This is hard. Where are the comments? Uh, do you go to that? Chat viewing options. Top chat. There they are. Okay, thank you guys. I can see all your comments now. Greetings from the Netherlands. Hello, Netherlands. That's awesome. Thank you for joining. Camera on is from daughter's side. Your camera's out of focus a bit. I know, you're out of focus. Has the Mach 1 pistol now. Yes, piston. Do you recommend the Diana Zero? We got that one. Chasing Outdoors, thank you so much, man. You're awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, you're great reading out the comments. Well done. Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. She's really good. I'm, I'm a top reader. I can read one passage in one minute. She's good. All right. Let's see. It's a super chat. Someone donated to him, and I appreciate that. LOL. I paid your camera, girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's your ice cream for tonight. That's uh, Tanner. Thank you, Tanner. All right. Let's see. Hello. Hello, Cameron. Go out and get her an ice cream this evening. I will, man. Uh, how long before reviews posted? We got that. It's going to be a, a few weeks before we get through um, the reviews again. This is the one I didn't have time to read. Okay, hold on. Let's hold this right here. Can you hold it right there? Okay. Thank you. All uh, right. Has this gun the same power as the Swarm Fusion? Yes. What gun are you unboxing? We got that. Drum roll. How is the righty stock feel? Ooh, very good question. So as a lefty, I have learned to actually shoot ambidextrous um, because I am cross-eye dominant. So what that means is my right eye is actually stronger than my left eye, but I'm left-handed. And be the only way to compensate for that was to learn how to shoot both ways. So for a lefty, I'm very used to shooting left-handed with right-handed guns. I just am. Um, I had to get that way. So here we are. The comments. And then the other guns... I just, I don't know, I got used to shooting right-handed and left-handed. A uh, drum so. roll is right here. There's drum roll. There we go. Okay, I was here. Yes, you were. Uh, sorry, I must run. Have a lifeboat call out. Well done, camera girl. Thank you, Mike. Is a Hatson Air Rifle 22 cal a good starter's gun? Um, honestly, I don't know. Hatson, I've heard good things about, but they're really stingy about sending stuff out to um, us little guys. So Hatson, if you're watching... We're waiting for you. You just got to come out. You see we're growing. So let's get it out there and we'll find out. Uh, snap, I just dropped 500 on a tuned 25 Sizico 704 with for my starter PTP. $500? $500? That's not bad. Um, are you excited to have a new little brother? Yes, yes. I am. That scope is nice. She's actually good at reading for so young. She's reading our college level. Got to get going though. Look forward to you too. Yeah. Uh, this is like watching a kid on Christmas morning. Yes, it is. Glory focus. I'm sorry, man. Hi. Hi, Jason. Oh, hey, Nora, you may find more power with this Mach 1 than the Fusion. That's a possibility. Uh, do you miss Arizona? I moved away from there two years ago, and sometimes I miss it. Not yet. I do not miss Arizona yet. Wait, I'm sorry, wait, Arizona. Two years ago? I miss my... Oh, no, he did. Uh, I miss my friends and all my people. Like, going to Air Guns of Arizona and just chatting it up and seeing all the cool stuff. That's what I miss. I also... I kind of miss the hot, warm farm. Because sometimes, farm, even in yeah. the winter, there are some coyotes and bunnies. The farm I do miss. Um, in fact, I'm still trying to figure out if anyone from Utah is watching, you got to tell me where to find all the rabbits. <laughs> All the jackrabbits I hear so much about. Um, yeah, it's things like that that I miss, but I do not miss the heat at all. Sorry, I don't. I uh, I just don't. Uh, pickle art. PJ Clark, what's up, man? Good good afternoon. My Outdoors Frontier joined. My Outdoors Frontier, what's up, dude? Good to see ya. All right. My 13-year-old brother wants to start shooting. What gun would you recommend? Um, for a 13-year-old brake barrel, honestly, a Gamo. 
Um, if he's going to do PCP, then I would go with the Umarek Scotland or Origin for a starter. Um, that's an excellent way to get going on this world. Oh, look yeah. at those. Look at those. They're turning into hearts. Yeah, those are all the likes. Oh. Okay, let's see. Ever tried a Hatson 1000X? I have not. Again, Hatson is not willing to play. Which is really annoying because um, the habits oh, actually look awesome. Look Hold it. on just a second. Uh, like the J Star Fox sounds like a great deal. The J Sars are interesting to me. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I want to. They've been out of stock. I've gotten to them. Um, I'm excited to uh, try that out. Hold that just like this. Yep, hold her steady. Um, J Sars seem like they would Hello, be an excellent from rifle. Right. Cypress. Hi, Cypress. Cypress. Hi, Cypress. Wow. Hey, I love this. So, All the way from Cypress? Yeah, that's, that's a long Great movie. job to you two. Thanks for the live. Hello from Cypress. Great job, you two. Thank you, G-Man. Thank you for the pellets. Um, man, I'm excited to try this stuff out. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love your chats. Um, I love you guys taking part in the fun. Let's get the chats back up. There they are. Um, JSTAR is a modified Zizico 705. I did not know that. I am excited to give it a go, though. Uh, see what's going on. New Zealand! New Kiwi Zealand? Land. All Join the way channel. from New Zealand? Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> Kiwi Land? What you guys is... are seeing, like, What all in the world is here. Kiwi Land? Would you recommend the Gamma Magnum Gen 2177? Yes, however, big caveat to that, it goes supersonic, for me anyway, for any pellets that are less than 10 grains. So you oh, have to it. use heavy pellets for that. My door's from too. Hey, I S. I'm essentially able to see your YouTube live. What did you get? Oh, did you miss it? Okay, so oh, we've got bad. the Gamo Bone Collector. In fact, you can watch this yeah. afterwards. But we've got the Gamo Bone Collector right here. Woodstock. Beautiful, gorgeous. Um, a BSA scope to try out on my Gamo rifles. We've got the Daystate Huntsman Revere right here with an Aztec optic on it. Amazon, this is going to be a new competition rifle. Amazon A as um, AZAM airgun joined. Hello. Hello. All right, guys. Um, we have a lot of Ooh, cool at, stuff. I love this channel and the knowledge you give out. Appreciate your Appreciate your brother. Thank you, Zach. Um, let's see if we've got anything else missing. Uh, New Zealand, I wanted to get back to you. I appreciate you watching, man. Um, thank you. I'm excited to be a dad again. I have been a dad four times over now, and it's super fun. All right. I think that's about it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It has been super fun. I love you guys. Thank you for watching the channel and my fun, silly videos, because that's me, and that's what I like to do. I yeah. like to do it, too. Yes, she does, and it's awesome. I love you guys. I love you, too. Wait, Thank you. Bye. Bye, someone special. Uh, congratulations. Congrat Thank you, sir. All right, guys, keep watching. Keep subscribing. We are still not at uh, 10,000 subs. T goodbye, TTYL Noor. Um, 10,000 subs. We got to get there so we can give away this beautiful karambit. Take care. I will post some more videos also. Excellent. Adios. Looking forward to it. Adios, hermano. Bien, Necesitamos bien. luchar por todo lo que hacemos. Um, to, to say goodbye in Mandarin, you say Zaijin. We are multifaceted over here. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. And, goodbye, YouTube. Bye, and Instagram. Bye, YouTube. We are out.